19 points, has them fourth in the Eastern Conference. Right now the puck in the Mississauga's end. Mississauga zone. It's Again, really good pressure there uh, in the offensive zone, and then when they had to defend, really technical side for us here this afternoon. Shots two apiece, no score between the Spitz and the Steelheads. Another draw won by the Steelheads, but again, Windsor first to the puck in the attacking zone. Oliver Peer, who has had a terrific start to this OHL season, second year man. Gets the puck over to the far side, and that's where Alex Christopoulos, former North Bay Battalion, works out of the corner, takes a shot. Bellieri had to be sharp as Smith was right on top of him. Kicks it away to the corner. Puck in behind the Steelheads net now. Pierre and Smith there for Windsor. Out the left side, Smith finds Pierre below the goal line again, looking for a centering pass. Nobody there. Pierre goes back to the right point. Renwick takes a shot. That was blocked. Loose in front of the goal, and Smith had a great chance, but couldn't finish with Bellieri down. And finally, she goes out of the goal. Leaves it for his defenseman. Taken there by Sobolev, paired with DeAngelis. DeAngelis now with the puck in behind the goal. Hardy chasing him. 9.50 to go, period number one. Steelheads again back in their own end. Matthew Maggio lost the puck in front of Callahan. Callahan takes the puck, plays it over. Luca Delbel Belouz, end of his shift, decides to dump it in. Vecchia in on the forecheck. DeAngelis and Sobolev, still the defense partners for the Spitfires. Sobolev waits behind and then Kai Schwint now onto the ice. Taken by the Steelheads though at their own line as Windsor unable to break out correctly. Here's Beck. He's in on the left side. Has some speed and Beck takes a shot. DeAngelis did a good job getting the stick in the way. Knocking it to the corner. Vecchia takes the puck on the right side. Steelheads trying to establish the cycle. Beck in behind the goal. A centering pass. Comes to the slot. And real Vecchia shot. Big stop from Onushka. His biggest test tonight. Kicks out a second rebound as well. And a guy that they brought in to fill some pretty big shoes from last season. Puck just outside of the Steelheads line. Matthew Maggio, Millette, and that top trio with Abraham back on for the Spitfires. But it's the Steelheads with the puck and a shot by Owen Beck of the Canadiens prospect. A couple of Habs prospects in this game with Sobolev for Windsor. Beck shot stopped by Onushka. He goes down the season and maybe that's somebody he takes after. But so far so good from McGregor Richmond. Three minutes, 40 seconds to go. Spitfires control and an awkward looking. She can try to establish something off the rush here. A little bit quiet of a period for Owen Beck. Seems like he's due and he's on the ice now. 12-10 shots favoring Mississauga. Speaking of Beck, has the puck in the neutral zone. Feeds it over to Chaz Sharp who dumps it in behind the goal to Beck. Centering pass comes to the slot area. Vecchia spinning and had it blocked in front. And Ethan Miedema gobbles it up. Slips it to the line, and that's taken by Johnston, who pushes it out to center. Johnston, not related to Wyatt Johnston, who had 124 points last year. Thomas Johnston, longtime Ottawa, 67. Held in at the Mississauga line, taken by Beck and Cook. Well, Flaherty does a good job, though. Knocks Beck off the puck. And to take with that Mesa speed, Steelheads get their first man advantage. Steelheads power play third in the OHL this year. 14 for 51. They go right to work after they win the draw. It's in behind the goal. Centering pass. Lavoie had it just come out of his reach. Del Mastro has it at the right point. Keeps it alive for just a second, but put a dangerous pass in. That could have been a shorthanded breakaway. Windsor has three shorties, including two from Oliver Peer this year. So watch out for that. But right now, Pierre is in the penalty box for the trip. Beck has speed on the right wing, skates in, takes a shot. Onushka, that cut the butt of his stick. High off the glass, Steelheads hold it in. Beck, though, lost the puck to Sobolev. Sobolev couldn't clear on the first try. Battle for it just inside the Windsor line, won by the Steelheads. Here's Beck, shot, glove save again. It's Matt Onushka, terrific. With a little bit, but right to Onushka. Golden opportunity for the Steelheads. Draw one by the Spitfires in their own end. 40 seconds is ticked off the clock. If you miss the first period, it's 1-0 Windsor despite being outshot 17-10 by the Steelheads. Isaac Enright from Mississauga chips it out. It's batted down by Ryan Abraham, who keeps it alive for just a moment for Windsor. Beck takes a bump, but he does the job and gets it to center. Schwint lost the puck, or takes down a man away from the puck. Play goes. Fires are screaming for a penalty. Casper Larson back in his own end. It's chipped out to center. Glove down by Renwick in the neutral zone. Plays it back to Bronson Ride. Tries a first pass. Intercepted second time. He gets it through. Millette finds his man on the right side. A pass back to Abraham. And a big stop from Bellieri. Moveristic 13th in the OHL right now. They have had some struggles on the penalty kill. 
but they win the draw and get the puck all the way down the ice. Windsor's power play operating at about 21% phone. Steelheads though, Quinn them send them quickly back. DeAngelis gives the puck away to Betsky. Centering pass, Cook scores! Uh, and Matt, puck was free in the corner. Steelheads win it, keep it alive. Zabeski looks towards the net, cross iced over onto the left side. Bryce Cook has all day, and he barely looked rock solid in that first period. Eight minutes gone, 2-1. Here's a check chance for Beck. Steaming it on the left side, in alone. Beck stopped by Onushka. Big save as he got the paddle down just in time. The Steelheads looking for a third. Back the other way, though, as the pace picks up. Smith is in over the line for Windsor. Battles with Casper Larson. Larson may have got away with a bit of a hooking call. Puck goes in behind the net. Binney chips it up. 16 seconds ticked off the minor to Larson. Ryan Abraham skates the puck in the attacking zone. Takes a funny bounce, but the Spitfires get it back. Centering pass. Christopoulos in front. Rebound is up and into the mid. Pass and the Spitfire, Zach Harp. Good spinning away from the puck. Gets to the Lavoie. Here's Zachary Lavoie. Former Steelheads first round pick. Gives it to Beck. Right side centering pass from Beck into the slot area. Bryce Cook. The go-ahead goal scorer for Mississauga also in on the forecheck, but the Spitfires chip it down to Mississauga. Steelheads on the road in Sudbury. Taken by Lavoie in on the left side, 6.25 to go second period. Lavoie goes in behind the goal. That pass misses Cook, but Parker Von Richter pinching in on the right side. Plays it down to Cook. Beck centering pass. Lavoie pushed off the puck at the last second by A.J. Spellacy. And Lavoie has the puck, and he's finally checked on the left side. Spitfires, though, can't clear. Taken by Lavoie. Centering pass. Onushka with a couple of big saves in front. And again, the Spitfires can't clear. Held in at least momentarily at the line by the Steelhead. Sharp to Lavoie on the right side. In front. Scores! Oh! And back. Spitfires couldn't clear it twice, and the Steelheads make them pay. It's three to one. Well, puck retrieval has been the name of the game for the Mississauga Steelheads this afternoon, and right there, they keep it in twice. Lavoie pressuring. They're leading with their sticks on the attack, and an excellent behind the back pass. Broken play, but Owen Beck, as he always is, in the right spot, right in the high slot. He picks up the loose puck, and he slaps it right past Anushka, and the trend continues for Matt Anushka. Only once has he let in less than three goals. The Steelheads get to him three times in this. Dale Bell Blues. We're back to five on five. Larson at the left point. Sneaks in. Score! Being aggressive. They're picking off passes. And you give any Steelhead player. Snapped one. Low blocker side on the short side. One that Onushka would like back. Just as the power play expired, get their fourth of the night, fourth unanswered goal, and they're back looking for more as Beck is in on the left side. Tried another short side chance. Onushka stopped that. Here's Del Mazzo tipped in front. The old slap pass, and Onushka made a great save off of Beck as the wins are spit. Top line of Maggio, Abraham, and Spellacy just jumped over the boards now. Minute 30 gone here in the third period. Once again, the Steelheads back in off the rush. Beck's shot scores! Two goals! And a minute 33, and the Steelheads are up big. Five to one. Well, you could feel that one coming. We were just talking about it. A flat start on their heels. Windsor, no answer. Great stop by Anushka off Owen Beck, but you give Owen Beck a second opportunity. You know he's not missing twice. Excellent shot by Beck in the slot. He's able to beat Anushka on the glove side and might have taken a little bit of a deflection yep. off a Windsor player, yep. but Beck will certainly take it. And now it's a five spot for Mississauga and a team that can score a lot of goals is giving up. Mississauga certainly doesn't want to take its foot off the gas. A couple of really good opportunities for Windsor. They're able to cash in on one. And you can see that happening earlier. Enright Coughlin right up the middle. There's going to be a penalty coming up as Schwind is cross checked into the boards. And Beck is going to come in and drop the gloves with Sobolev. Sobolev delivers a couple of right hands. Beck goes down. Quickly back up on his feet. The linesman and referees jump in there. Sobolev cross checked. I believe it was Schwinn from behind, and the Steelheads did not like that. A penalty was going to be called anyway. Beck is going to go to the box, and now the Steelheads fans in attendance here are starting to make some noise as the game... You know, he takes exception to that hit on Kai Schwint, who's obviously a big guy. If he goes down, Matt, it's a big hit. And, uh, oh, and, and a Beck, penalty. And a penalty, exactly, from behind.